Hey you guys, welcome back to Angel Angela and on this topic, I wanted to make you guys a quick video on how you're basically just an entertainment to the narcissist. You're just an entertainment to the narcissist. Um, you, the new supply, um, anyone in the narcissist life is entertainment. Um, the narcissist does not know how to focus on themselves unless they're getting energy from other people, right? They can't focus on themselves. They can't focus on their own life. Um, this could be a narcissist who um, might not have a lot of supply. This could be a narcissist who's wealthy, you know, um, you know, growing up in a narcissist family um, with people who have more then you you'll you'll wonder why are they so focused on me you know why aren't they taking trips and enjoying all of the money that they're fighting over um you know um these people are well established but for some reason they love the drama they love to have a story to tell narcissists cannot focus on themselves um in order for them to focus on themselves or for them to want to do better they need you, they need the people around them, they need ideas. This is why the narcissist steals ideas, they steal your personality, um, they steal even the way you laugh, everything. Um, the narcissist is a copycat. You know, that's one thing I notice about a narcissist. Um, you know, I'll, I'll have people around me that you know, I do something, you know, I buy something, they buy it, I buy something else, they buy it too. You know, I do something, they're asking me where I'm getting it from. And I'm wondering, like, um, like, wow, that's pretty strange, you know, and sometimes um, I've realized that those people come into my life to let me know about the other narcissists um, who have done me wrong, and they're getting their karma for the things that they've, they've done to me. And, you know, um, you start to see these people as not being victims. It's just that they're getting their karma back. Um, and even when they're getting their karma, you will see that most narcissists, um, they'll continue to talk about you. They'll continue to do things to try to antagonize you. And you're wondering, like, how do you have the energy to still try to destroy someone else when you're slowly being destroyed? Um, the only difference is that you have your flying monkeys around you. So that lets me know if you weren't to have your flying monkeys around you, you will be totally destroyed. You know, um, you'll be totally in a position where you just um, will feel helpless and you will feel like you're the victim and you will talk to people like you're the victim and you're going through so much and you're going through a divorce and you're doing all of this, right? But they're not taking accountability for how they've treated others or how they thought that they got away with how they, they treated others or how they thought they got away by playing a flying monkey when someone was being attacked. So narcissist you know they need fuel from every every source around them to keep um preying on people you know the narcissist does not like being peaceful um you know although you'll you'll get a lot of narcissists in your life that you know claim that they're into spirituality and you know you start to connect to them because you might feel like you have the same beliefs and they're into meditation and things like that. But that whole thing is a facade. You know, you might think, oh, the narcissist, you know, they really don't go out like that. We we spent most of our time together. But meanwhile, you know, they're doing all of these secretive things on their phones. They they have multiple phones. They have, you know, Google numbers. Um, you know, they have passwords. You know, they're they're playing video games with people. They're doing all of these things. Um, behind your back and you can feel it you can feel it when they're around you You could feel the disconnection um, you could feel like they're up to something um, or something goes missing or something and you know the narcissist is the type of person to help you look for it or um, you know the narcissist will set you up and everything and you know portray like they're um, your partner or your friend 
Um, these type of people have no boundaries and they don't have any limits of what they'll do to you um, just to be entertained. They need a story, you know, they need a storyline. They need someone to attack. They need to be they they need to be the savior of this movie or they need to be the villain, either one, because the narcissist loves being the villain. They love talking to other people about you. You know, um and I was thinking to myself like, you know, when you watch reality TV, right? I was thinking to myself, like, I've never been into reality TV, but now that I look at it, I was basically living in in some type of reality show while being with the narcissist. And, you know, they knew everything that they were doing and they were doing everything just to get a storyline. This is why when you're involved with narcissists, especially in like your family environment, you know that all you can do is walk away because anytime you have a family member pretending that they they're um, they got your back and things like that, you will notice that they're just basically around you to get information out of you, whether they use it for right or wrong. They're just there to get information about how you feel to make themselves feel good or to run that information to other narcissists. So you get to a point where you realize wow, all of these people, all they need is a storyline. So let me take myself out of this storyline, right? And once you do that, you'll see that they'll find someone else to attach themselves to. And, you know, um, they, they'll seek control from the other from other people around. And um, they don't stop. They always need a storyline. And because the narcissist reads people um, and they know that most people are living in this storyline, fictitious world. They use it for their advantage to create um, a, a story that will fit them, a story that they they'll be the, the, the star of the show and, and no one even knows it. You might think to yourself, well, why would this person stick around me with, you know, for so many years? Why would they... Um, you know, know that I'm hurting and continue to hurt me? Why would they know that I lost everything or I've been in a very vulnerable situation where I'm in pain? And um, why would they sit around or laugh at me? Or why would they um, tell people around them private things that I discuss with them? But if I was to tell their private, you know, Um, things, they would blow up in my face. They would tell me that I'm talking too much. They would tell me that I don't know how to keep a secret, you know. um, So you're walking on eggshells. You're constantly um, silencing yourself. Um, Meanwhile, the narcissist is running off telling people things about you and not only telling people things about you, they're actually lying. So the narcissist basically doesn't believe in your emotions. So if you're crying, if you're mad, they don't believe in your emotions. They feel like your feelings aren't real because their feelings aren't real because they've set up different scenarios and everything is planning out how they want it to. So if they cheat, they know you're going to be mad. If they um, do something, they know you're going to be upset. They still they know you're going to be looking for it. And because they're lying and they and you're going through it and you're emotional, they, this is why you'll they'll look at you like you don't really love me. You don't really care about me because I fooled you into that. It's a lie. I made it up. I only care about myself and me being valuable and me being wanted. So if you expose anything to the people around me, they're going to put the pieces together and they're going to know that I'm lying, um, that I've made up stories about you that aren't really true. See, the people around me already know I'm lying. They know I'm a liar, but they don't know that I'm always lying. They don't know that everything is a lie, you know, and then they and then those people rile them up, believing every word, um, giving them, you know, a solution to their problem, telling them that they need to leave you and you know, they're running off a storyline. Everyone needs a storyline. Even the people that they're surrounding themselves with, they're getting off on that storyline to, so that they won't have to focus on their own life. You know, so these are people that gossip. Um, They're constantly on the phone talking about you or talking to other people. And sometimes you want to be there for people, you know, but sometimes you also realize that people are just using you 
so that they can continue um, talking about that same storyline. But they don't want to do anything to better themselves. They don't want to appreciate what they have right in front of them. You know, it's, and it's until you lose everything that you realize the sneaky little things that people do because you realize, you know, to appreciate every little thing that you have, you know, appreciate your children, you know. So while meanwhile, these people are focused on the wrong things, you're like, you know, you have children, you have, you know, a company, you have all of these important things to, you know, think about, you know, you need to snap out of it. And it's like, it's like trying to warn the new supply about the narcissist, it's not going to work. And you realize that that type of energy is trying to suck the energy out of you. Um, you know, and what's so mind blowing about how narcissists, you know, carry all of this information to, Um, flying monkeys and other people. What's so mind-blowing about that is that these people are giving their two cents on on the scenario and what's going on or what they think is going on, right? And the narcissist comes back, you know, making this story up, validating their feelings or whatever they think are their feelings. And they're actually really taking out you know, their anger and what they believe, you know, this fictitious story that they they're sticking to, they're sticking to the story and they come back and they really um, provoke you. This is what makes a narcissist so demonic, so sinister that they're playing with people's emotions and they're playing, they're preying on the people that don't know what's going on as well. You know, it's all to make themselves a victim to get something out of those people as well. You know, those people, they're only there for supply. Their characters and their little show, their little um, reality love and hip hop type of show. And, um, you know, what's so what's so sinister about it is that they actually know what they're doing. I remember, you know, in my situation that someone, to, you know, someone warned me. They told me, oh, the narcissist, you know, they just want to complain about their family and stuff. That's all they do. And I didn't think nothing of it until... Um, you know, I was with them for years and they always complain about their family. Yet I didn't have a family. So I'm kind of like, appreciate your family. They're not perfect. You know, focus on yourself. But it was as if they didn't want to listen to the solution to their problem. And that's what made me realize, you know, most of us, we understand that we need to come with a solution because we're, we're in pain. We're going through heartache. But when I realized that, and I I realized that about the narcissist, I called them out on it and they had this smirk like, oh, you finally figured out that that's what I'm doing. I'm just talking bad about everyone because I hate them, that I'm just I hate them because they're so stupid, because they believe everything I tell them, because, you know, they always, you know, they show me hate because they, they know I'm a liar. But when it comes down to it, they always have my back and they're dumb for having my back. So this is why I I don't go for people with sob stories anymore. You know, I've seen people who have watched me get literally persecuted, hanged, you know, just in the worst situations. And they tagged along with the narcissist as flying monkeys, believing the lie. And when when I'm out of that equation, those same people get attacked by those narcissists or by other narcissists. A lot of times they get attacked by by those same narcissists and then they're looking for empathy from other people. And I've actually, you know, thought to myself, "Okay, you finally saw what I saw. You finally are going through what I'm going through. You know, I'm sorry that you're going through through that, you know, having empathy for them, having empathy for them, because now they see what I see yet. They don't even have the courage to to apologize. How do you see someone go through something and when it happens to you, you still don't want to apologize to that person you bashed? So they're believing their own lie while attacking you. And when they attack you, there's no limits to um, the boundaries. You know, they'll cross every boundary. They'll put their hands on you. They'll look at you with so much hate. 
you know, and you're wondering, how can this person hate me this much? Why are they looking at me like that? Why are they looking at me like I'm, they're better than me? Why are they telling me that they're better than me, that they could do better than me? Why are they telling me that I'm the, you know, I'm like the scum of the earth? You know, they're, they're telling me that I'm beneath them. You know, what did I do to be beneath them? If I was beneath them, why did they even, um, you know, get into this relationship with me if that was the case. And, you know, if anyone was beneath anyone, it was them being beneath me because when I got with them, you know, they were speaking of all these great things that they wanted to do, but they weren't, they were unable to do those things. And, you know, I was in a position to do every little thing they told me that they wanted to do. So how did it become, them being up here and me being down here how did it become that you know and and the scary part about that is that you'll feed into it or you'll believe them or you might not believe them but you're being hurt by their words and the more you're hurt by their words and you're crying or you're pleading to them it's confirming to them in their sick twisted mind that they're better than you and their sick, twisted mind, and you'll see this arrogance about them, you know, you'll see this arrogance, like, um, you know, almost like they're trying to make it seem like they're on celebrity status, or they're, you know, they, they're um, part of this world that they're not even a part of. They're part of this world that they haven't even worked hard to be part of that world, You know, the narcissist is a twisted person, first of all. They think if they even have a conversation with someone who um, is about something or has credentials, just by speaking to someone like that, the narcissist, um, they'll make up a storyline about that. You know, they'll go to their friends and family members and the people around them and they're like, hey, guess who I bumped into? Yeah, we had a conversation about this. Yes, you know, they told me to keep following my dreams. See, man, I'm attracting good energy, you know, my time is coming. Meanwhile, they'll start walking around with an arrogance about them, not understanding that a lot of these people that are above them didn't get there, you know, by being the way they are. And they judge those people, you know, they're, they're thinking to themselves, well, you know they get to be in a relationship with multiple people, you know, they're not living the way you think um, a normal person should be living. The difference between people that are able to make it through life um, compared to the narcissist is that these people have self-control. First of all, they have self-control. The narcissist doesn't have self-control. They need other people. Those people don't need other people to get to where they want to be. Yes, those people will use resources, but the narcissist will always look at those people like, oh, those people always get help. They look at them with envy, with jealousy, not understanding their character. So what they do is they mimic their character. They might not have the same boundaries or the same beliefs as you, you know, because the narcissist, they, it's almost like they think they're in this reality show and they're not understanding that these people are, you know, not maybe not the the most perfect people. They might not have the same boundaries and things like that. But the thing is, these people know the power of a lie. They know the power of a lie. They know that everything done in the dark comes to light. And these people are prepared for that. Not only are they prepared for that, but a lot of times they don't even know these people in their lives. They don't know that these people um, might not live a righteous life or the, the, the definition of a righteous life. But these people do not lie. You know, these people know that lies cause problems and things like that. And a lot of times these people are motivated by something, maybe their business or motivated by these things. They know that, you know, if they um, choose to to do to, to they know if they choose to do wrong, most likely wrong is going to come back to them. You know, um, the way they move is differently. The narcissist moves in a very sloppy way where if they basically have the opportunity to get over on you, they do. You know, they don't understand that 
when you get to a different level, you have to be cautious about everything that you do, you know, because someone, you know, you, you get over on, they might not want to do business with you in the future or someone that you get over on might know someone that you try to get over later on. You know, they, any validation you give to a narcissist, it goes over their heads. They're not thinking of the consequences. They're not thinking of the future. So you will see narcissists that are successful, but a lot of those narcissists have learned to use their narcissism to where they know how to contain themselves. They know that they can't just act erratically. And most narcissists, they act on impulse the moment that you don't agree with them. And a lot of times what's crazy is that... Um, you know that they deep down need you. They need you for supply. They need you to encourage them. They need you to do all of these things to put common sense in them. When they feel like, you know, they're going to go left, you make sure they're going straight, you know. And you know um, a lot of times what's going to happen if they don't listen to you because they're so stubborn when they're stuck in their own ways, you know. So a lot of times, you know, you'll see the future that comes, you know, for the, you, you can see the narcissist's future before it comes to them because they're that ignorant. They're that um, delusional that they're like, I don't care what you think is going to happen to me. I don't care if you think I'm going to lose everything. You know, I like to take chances. I like to take risks. I'm nothing like you. You know, that's their attitude. But you can see it coming as clear daylight. You can see it coming before it comes. You're just upset and hurt because you don't want it to happen that way. You don't want the storyline to go that way, but it's almost like a storyline, like a reality show where you know what's going to happen next because they're telling on themselves. The narcissist uses supply, the people around them, to give them common sense. That's all these people are, but at the end of the day, they do not respect anyone. They think these people are dumb. They feel as if the, the common sense that's given to them, they feel like that all came from them. This is why the narcissist needs positive people around them. The moment that you catch on to them or you're not giving them the same supply, you're not admiring them, you're not worshiping them, um, they see no value in you because they feel like you're trying to sabotage them. You're, you, you might not be in a position to sabotage them, but that's literally their mindset is you're trying to attack me or hurt me um, and undermine me because you know the type of person that I am. This is why they need um, new supply. And, um, you know, and, and you feel like at the end of the day, you're going to lose. You're going to lose because you put your trust in, into someone who is living their life um, trying to have a storyline. Everything is a storyline with them. If you really pay attention to them, you'll see that they'll have someone in their life that they, they tell everything to. It could be their brother. It could be their sister. It could be their mother. And you can see that um, as much as they bash these people and they look down on these people, their whole thing about these people around them is that they, they have control over them. They have control over them because these people know that they're not good people but they're willing to be there for them no matter what. They're willing to lie for them. They're willing to, to go over and beyond for them, even if they're not perfect. So the narcissist secretly hates them, but they need them for a storyline. And they get off when they tell them, hey, you know, this is what's going on. This is what happened. And um, they, 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 they need a storyline and they love it that these people are willing to tell them what they want to hear. Once you realize that and you... Um, slowly, you know, you're not crying like you used to because you kind of know what's going to happen next, like a storyline. Um, you know, they're going to bash you. You know, they're going to hoover you. You know, they're going to hit you with that. Hey, how you been? Or hey, I miss you. I'm sorry. You're my soulmate. You know, once they start hitting you with those things, you know, um, and, and a lot of times they know what they've done to you. You know, they know what they've done to you. Um, they know how they lied, but they were so caught up in their delusional world that they thought that they were going to get away with it. And once they're literally brought back to earth, 
um, they're thinking about what they did to you. They're thinking about how, you know, you had some more common sense than they than they did. And because they know that you don't fully know who they are, they'll come back. It's until they know that you're not going for it anymore, that they've exposed themselves too much. It's until they they know or they have a feeling that you've you actually know more than you're telling when they can't read you anymore, when they can't control you anymore. That's when they won't come and hoover you and, and um, love bomb you the way they used to anymore, because they know there's nothing that they do that is going to make you believe their lies. They don't care about apologizing. They don't care about karma because to them, they, they don't want to um, give anyone closure. You know, they, they get off on not giving people closure um, because they know what it what it feels like. They know what it feels like, you know, to be crushed and because um, they've decided to to um, give themselves to darkness, basically, you know, um, they they don't care. Um, Their whole thing is to seek revenge against anyone and everyone around them. They're blaming people for what they've been through. And what's so crazy is that um, they're blaming you. They're blaming strangers. They're blaming the people closest to them for their own actions. Instead of changing their actions, they're thinking of ways to get over on everyone. How can I get over on this person? Because I'm hurting because I went through, um, I went through betrayal, you know, so how can I get over on this person? They don't want to understand that not everyone is like that, you know, and um, when they're in a peaceful state of mind, they don't like the peace. They need a storyline. They don't want to focus on themselves. They want to focus on creating storylines for everyone they're around. This is why you might wonder, well, why did the narcissist, you know, put all of these things in my head? so that I could hate their ex or so that I could hate their family. But yet they're trying to get with their ex behind my back, you know, or they're hanging out with their family. Meanwhile, they they put all of these thoughts in my head about my own family. And now I don't talk to anyone around me because I called them out on everything. The narcissist made me realize, you know, um, but the narcissist is here they're playing a role with their family. They're, um, they have a storyline. Everything is about a storyline. And, you know, I don't have a storyline anymore. My, my storyline was supposed to be, I'm going to live happily ever after with this person who I thought cared about me, but they didn't even end up being who they said they were. And that pain that you have, they get off on that because they feel like, the more pain I see in others, it means that I'm such a great person. I'm such a great person. Look, you're crying over me. I'm great. You must be doing something wrong because you're the one crying. I'm not crying. You know, um, the narcissist, you guys, they need a storyline. That's all it's about, a storyline. Once you're not showing emotions, you're not chasing over them, you're not hoovering over them. You're not wondering why they're not hoovering you and then contacting them to see why they're not hoovering you, feeling sorry for them. Because at the end of the day, they're counting on that. They're counting on you trying to contact them to see why they haven't contacted you. Those people might be going through their karma and they're telling themselves, I'm not going to allow her to see me go through my karma. I'm not going to allow them to have the satisfaction that I walked out of their life super arrogant, you know, like I was the greatest thing on earth, you know, fat belly and everything, you know, um, ugly in the face and everything, you know, I walked out like I was just just the, the greatest guy out here, you know, I had the whole package. And in reality, they don't have the whole package, you know. Half the time, you're the one that had the whole package and they just mimicked you and took off with all of your information and took off with all of your um, your your viewpoints on life. They stole information out of you because they know that you have common sense. So they're like, let me steal all of the common sense from you because I have none. Let me let me study you so that I can know how other women think, how they think. 
so that I can use it on the new supply. Coming back to you will only, you know, it will only clarify to them that they aren't who they think they are. This is why they don't come back sometimes, um, you know, so they would rather think about all of the people that they've done wrong. And instead of thinking to themselves, this is why I'm getting my karma, they're thinking to themselves, I'm still a great guy no matter what people think. So they're looking at you like, yeah, you see me. I have no money left. I had all that money I had. I was throwing in your face that I was going places and I was doing things. Now I have nothing, but I'm still a great guy because I'm not what you see right now. You know, I, I've, I've been to places, I've done things, I've had good supply. I've had all these things already. But I don't feel anything for anyone. Everything is a storyline for me. You know, I wanna see the look on everyone's face when they see that I, you know, took their advice and I really did move on because I'm nothing like them. I don't just sit there and say, I'm going to move on. I really do this, you know? And, and meanwhile, these people, you know, they want to make it seem like their life is so great. You know, they're they're hanging around their married friends and they're like, look, my life is awesome. My life is great. Come, come hang out with the single people. Come on. Look, it's fun. See how fast I moved. On? I moved on with my life. They they literally live on destroying other people. They'll destroy their own friends um, until their own friends realize that. It's not really cracked up what it seems to be. The narcissist wants everyone down and out. They want their friends to be miserable. They want they they need a storyline. So they need to destroy others to keep a storyline going. And what's so crazy about it is that they're well aware of what they're doing. They're like little kids in the in the cookie jar and they're like, "I know what I'm doing. I just you guys don't know what I'm doing. I just need a storyline." You know? It takes the narcissist to lose everyone around them for them to get their act right. And in reality, it's very hard uh, a lot of times for that to happen, because as you can see, narcissists, they like hanging and sticking to low hanging fruit. And once those 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 fruits start to rot in one at a time. They know their karma is coming you know, to them. This is why they latch on to the next person you know, and then they're stuck there being miserable for the rest of their life because they know that they can't keep um, going from supply to supply anymore. They know that their, their supply, their energy is running really low. They know that most people aren't going for their storyline anymore. They have nothing to show for it. You know, they've made up lies and, 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 um, tried to put themselves on a pedestal for so long that people start to see through it you know so even if you might think the narcissist isn't going through anything know this the people around them it doesn't matter how much the narcissist has to offer money people get tired of that and money isn't everything to everyone you know so you might have built the narcissist up but even when they're in a situation where they're they have money their character hasn't changed you know, and people, not everyone goes for that arrogance that they have, that arrogance, like, you know, they just think they're so great. Not everyone goes for that. People see through it. You know, people that they want to attract see through it. And most of those people won't trust you. You know, they'll get in those positions to be around the people they want to be around and those people won't trust them because they're like, you're not trustable. I'm just going to keep you around because I need a storyline. They become a storyline to other people who need a storyline. And then they get mad when things don't go their way. This is why they always come back. And then it becomes embarrassing to try to come back. So, um, you know, I just wanted to share with you guys this message on, you know, the narcissist needing a storyline you know, um, and I hope that this message was helpful for you guys, for you guys to move forward in your healing. Um, you know, sometimes you're, you're stuck because you were so used to the narcissist creating, you know, drama. And when that drama is not around and you have nothing but peace, you know, you, you're actually happy that you have peace. You're actually happy 
But sometimes you might feel like, did I do the right thing? Because now I, I don't have any drama. I don't have any storylines. You have to create. That's that's what that means. You you need to create. You know, sometimes you might admire other people and admire that they have um, certain hobbies or they have, you know, certain things that makes them them, you know, creativity. And you might feel like you're lacking that. You don't know what's your thing yet. And that's OK. You know, you might still be healing, you know, but once you're done healing um, and you'll always carry those those memories, you know, you'll always carry those memories. And, you know, that pain will become less and less to the point where you won't even cry over the narcissist anymore. You won't even shed a tear for these people anymore. So once you get to that point in your life, you guys, it will be easier to um you know, slowly get yourself out there um, doing the things that you like, you know, creating a new life for yourself. You know, the narcissist, um, they can't create something real. Everything they do, it's like a, a storyline. It's not something, you know, that, that comes from the heart. So um, always know that this is why they try to keep you down because they know that once you find yourself, they know that you won't look back. They know that you won't look back and they know that the only place you can go is forward. And they know that, you know, they know your value. They don't want others to see your value. Yet they took a lot of characteristics from you in order to give themselves value. So, um, you know, I'm leaving you guys with this message. Please do not forget to hit the like button. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Share if you care, you guys. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Sending you guys lots of love, lots of light, and lots of peace. Bye.